In this video about scheduling reports, you'll learn how to schedule a report, including selecting a destination, and how to retrieve scheduled reports. You can schedule both standard and custom reports to run one time or on a recurring basis, for example, the end of every month, and you can select an optimum format, for example, Excel or PDF, and a delivery destination. To illustrate procedures for scheduling and retrieving reports, I'll use a monthly circulation statistics report as an example. On the Analytics tab, expand the Reports Accordion and click Report Launchpad. Navigate to the report that you want to schedule. In this case, I'm scheduling a standard circulation report, so in the 1.0 Standard Templates folder, I'll double-click to open the circulation folder. I can either single-click the report title and then from the More Actions menu select Schedule or I can right-click the report title and click Schedule. For instance title, I can type a new title or accept a default. Recurrence is when you want the report to run. The options change depending on the frequency you select. For example, if you select weekly, you would select which day of the week you want the report to run. For this example, I'll select monthly. Then I'll select how often I want the report to run. Every month, every three months, and so on. For this example, I'll select the default of every one month. Then I'll select when I want this schedule to start and what I want it to end. Next I'll click Prompts. This report has default prompts, a begin date of 12 months ago, and an end date at the beginning of this month. This is the time period that the report will cover. Some reports have default or optional prompts, some have required prompts, and some have no prompts at all. I want to change the default prompts, so I'm going to click Modify. And then I'll select a begin date of beginning of last month, and an end date of beginning of this month, and then click Apply. You can select one output format. Before scheduling a report, you may want to experiment with running the report manually to determine the optimal format. If you select Web Intelligence, the report can only be opened within Report Designer, so in the next step you should select the Destination Default Enterprise Location. Some reports have many columns and are not suited for PDF. I already know that the Monthly Circulation Statistics Report is suitable for PDF, so I'll select Adobe Acrobat, which will be a PDF file. Do not use caching, events, or scheduling server groups. No inputs are required on these menus. Next I'll click Destinations. There are two options, Default Enterprise Location, and file system. If you select default enterprise location, the reports will be available from the history menu in Report Launchpad, but only to the user who scheduled the report. This location is ideal for personally identifiable information or other sensitive data. If you select file system, the reports will be available from My Files and WorldShare as well as your institution's OCLC File Exchange Service account. In a few moments, I'll show you how to retrieve reports from all of these locations. I'm going to save this report to File System. You should leave both of these checkboxes selected. Optionally, you can activate delivery rules to deliver the report only if certain conditions are met, such as the report has been refreshed, 
and the report contains data. The final step is to click Schedule. Now that we scheduled a report, let's see how to retrieve reports. Remember that reports saved to file system will be delivered both to WorldShare My Files and your institution's OCLC file exchange service account. Any staff member with access to the Analytics tab may be able to download reports visible in My Files. To retrieve a report from My Files, on the Analytics tab, click My Files and then download files. Optionally, you can filter to WorldShare reports. By default, files already downloaded are hidden. You can display them by deselecting the checkbox. You can sort the list by file name or posting date. The default is for the most recent posting date to be listed first. Click the download button for the applicable report. Remember that reports scheduled for delivery to file system will be available in your institution's OCLC file exchange service account, as well as My Files. You can download reports using an open source FTP or SFTP client. OCLC recommends FileZilla. Enter the host and port for your institution, and enter your institution's username and password. If you don't have any of this information, contact your OCLC Regional Support Office. Select a directory. For WorldShare reports, the directory is expert slash analytic slash reports. Remember that reports scheduled for delivery to the Enterprise File location will be available from the History menu and Report Launchpad, but only to the user who scheduled the report. This is ideal for reports containing sensitive data, such as patron data. From Report Launchpad, navigate to the folder containing the report. In this example, my custom report is in My Documents. To retrieve it, I can either single-click the report title, and then click More Actions, and then History, or I can right-click the report title and click History. In the History window, I double-click the report title to download it. If you have questions about scheduling reports, please visit help.oclc.org for documentation, training, and contact information for OCLC support in your region.